Hey everyone, Hax here with a remake on Warrior Leveling Guide. This time I'll be going over everything in depth, including the skills, what priority you should take these skills in, and all the gear that you should use while you're leveling from 1 to 50. So I'll jump right into it. I'll start off with the gear. The accessories that you should be getting are the Brander accessories. Until you can get the Kalis set, which comes from Karuto Cave and gives more accuracy, the Brander set should suit you just fine. This set comes from the Black Spirit quest, so you should get these as soon as you do the Black Spirit quest for them. For your shield, you should get the Vanguard shield. The effect adds 5 accuracy, and the reason why, in general, why you want to add so much accuracy to your gear is that you want to be able to kill purple and dark red mobs. These mobs are significantly higher level than you, but with all the additional accuracy, you can hit them and you can therefore level just as fast as some of the other classes. So the Vanguard shield is your primary shield, and even after leveling phase, you will be using this. For leveling, you get the Aswell Longsword. This gives you another 5 accuracy, and when you enhance it with whatever black stones you have, you can get additional accuracy. This is really good, and you should definitely get this. If you're lucky, you can get the Ring of Good Deeds, which gives you 1 accuracy and AP as well, and it helps a lot with leveling since it's better than the Brander Rings. For armor, you have the choice of going either Ajirian armor or Tartus armor. Tartus armor is a little harder to come by. Um, they do drop from higher mobs, so when you get around the level of maybe 30 to 40-ish, you will start seeing them drop from the mobs. This gives you 5 accuracy when you have 3 pieces, so it's very helpful for you when you're reaching the 50 zone and you want to try to farm catfish a little earlier or faster. The Ajirian set doesn't give you any accuracy, it gives you max HP as well as attack speed, so it does benefit you quite a bit, and getting these pieces will be a lot easier than getting the Tartus set, if other people aren't also fighting you for them. So in general, this is what you're going to be, the setup that I went over is what you're going to be using for leveling gear-wise. I'll go over skills now. So when you start off, you won't have any skills at all. The very first skill that you'll take will most likely be Heavy Strike due to the quest requirements for the skill. Now the quest will require you to grab Heavy Strike and uh, you will grab this because you can't avoid doing that quest. But once you get it, it's actually not that bad for leveling from 1 to around 24-ish or 25-ish whenever you do get your Spinning Slash skill. Now I'll go over that in a little bit. Your priority in terms of leveling your leveling and what skills you should use should be Spinning Slash. Maxing Spinning Slash will help you a great deal when you're trying to kill the mobs before you get Twilight Scar at level 37. Spinning Slash does really good damage, but what you really want to do is knock them down before you use this. There's a few ways you can knock them down. This skill right here called Ground Smash is an AoE knockdown. It is very good, and you should use this to AoE knock down the mobs that you're killing, and then you use Spinning Slash right after it. The other skill that you can use to knock down your enemies or mobs is Chopping Kick. Chopping Kick will knock them down. In addition to knocking them down, you can also cancel the animation for Spinning Slash and do a lot of damage to your mobs. So the order I highly recommend you max these skills in would be to prioritize spinning slash over every other skill and get at least one rank in ground smash and at least one rank in chopping kick. These will be very important. Now as soon as you hit level 37 you should put points up or a point a rank into twilight scar which will cost you 27 skill points but this skill will be your primary farming tool after 37 and it even replaces spinning slash. This skill called Ground Roar debuffs your mobs and your enemies, so you should definitely use this w before you start killing them. A good way to farm mobs is by using this to gather or get aggro from the mobs and then the debuff, followed up by Ground Smashing for a knockdown or Chopping Kick for a knockdown, or you can even use Chopping Kick anyway after you've Ground Smashed into Spinning Slash for the maximum damage output and it's basically rinse and repeat from there. So thanks for watching my guide and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.